Welcome to today's Talk and Leadership. My name is Haiman Gabriel Gebet. And I am Serge Girimbawazi. We are teachers at the Wenger Tibet School. Today we will have the last lesson about group construction and we will finally go to the site. Let's see how the work we have done so far comes to a good result. Hello everyone, my name is Septimunya Hirgwe. I'm a carpentry trainer at Rwenjera Tivet School. Today we are going to have a lesson about the final assembly and covering of the roof. The objective of this lesson is that later you will be able to fix the different pieces of the roof frame. And the second objective is that you will be able to mark, to cut, and to fix the sheets on the roof. What I want to do to encourage you is that you can follow well and take notes where it is necessary so that the work we are going to do cannot be forgotten easily. So now after finishing up uh, produce the frame of the roof, the next thing we do is to fix it. So we will fix the roof frame here so you can see that we already put the wall plate so it's already connected but if you have the big wall plate with big sizes you need to bring the pieces separated. So to do this job we will need the hose pipe and to use the hose pipe you need someone to help you and you will need the water level just to check the levels. So after checking the levels we will have to fix the wall plate with nails so it's okay you can use nails or screws. To use the hose pipe I need someone to help me and actually what I have to do is that I put water inside and have the scotch to mark where um, the water is it's ending. So we do it by putting two ends together and then I put a scotch. And then after I will put this end here and then he will put end on another side We check if the water is still there or if it has moved. So this is how we check the level. Now the next step, after fixing the wall plate, we will have to fix the trusses, we will fix the common rafters and the rich board. So there we need tools like measuring tools, so we will need the fixing tools, so I have them here, and we need fixing materials, you can use screws or you can use nails. For me, I will use screws and nails at the same time. So when this is done, we will continue with the next steps that I will explain later.
now as the trusses, the common rafters and reach boards are fixed. The next thing that you are going to do is to fix the valley rafters, the hip rafters and all the other rafters remaining. So besides this, when it is done, we will immediately fix the paneling. Now the next thing we do after having the roof assembled, it is to fix the covers. The covers might be the iron sheet, might be the tiles or the concrete. So for us we will use the iron sheet. What we need while working with the iron sheet, uh, it is the tools to mark. We need angle grinder to cut but it has to work with the PPE. Finally, we need the hammer to fix the nails that we will use. Even if I will use the nails, there are other many possibilities of fixing the sheet, like using the screws. We will start with marking, and then finally we fix the sheet from uh, fixing the gutters in the valley, and then we fix the sheet, and then finally we fix the caps. When you are going to cut the sheet, the angle grinder is one of the tools that you can work with. That's why when you are working with the angle grinder, there are some safety precautions that you have to respect. The first thing is that it has to have the handle so that I am uh, free to hold it with both hands. Another thing that I have to respect with the angle grinder is that I must have this cover for the protection, especially for my hand. Because if I'm holding it like this, by mistake, I cannot touch the disc. That's why this cover is very important. Another thing, as it's making the sound, we need the ear protection. And we need googles, because while cutting, uh, there we have small particles flying away. That's why the googles are very necessary for the protection of our eyes. So we will need to mark the sheet, and to mark the sheet, of course, we have to measure on the roof where we will put that sheet, and then we can measure on the sheet where we are going to cut. And then we, we have to do the marking. So the chalk line is better for marking the sheet.
And with this marking, I can cut my sheet in a good way. But as it is on the ground, I can put the piece of wood, or I need to put the piece of wood so that I cannot cut in the ground. And this looks really good. If you want to improve what you have learned, you can find these videos on the e e-learning website of Rwanda Polytechnic. You are welcome to join also for other modules. Until then, stay safe and goodbye. goodbye.